Hi friends, welcome to Upper Studies YouTube channel. This is part 43 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about flat map transformation in PySpark. In our previous videos, we have discussed about what is RDD object and also we have discussed about map function. So this is almost like continuation to previous videos. So please watch them before watching this video so that you will get most out of it. Why? Because this flat map transformation actually allows you to flatten the list or array on top of the RDD objects. So you should know what is RDD object. So as I said in my previous videos, RDD object think like it is a list in Python. Okay. But please watch the video before this video which I recorded on RDD to get a better idea. So for now you can think like RDD object is nothing but like a list in Python. So once you have the RDD object ready in PySpark, then how to apply this flat map transformation and what kind of operations it will do that is what we are going to discuss in this video. So as I mentioned here, flat map is a transformation operation that flattens the columns in RDD object. Okay. So that means uh, if you have seen my previous videos, there is a video which explains about explode function on top of a data frame. This explode function will help you to flatten the arrays in data frame. So for example, uh, let's assume you have a data frame uh, values like this uh, in the first row. Let's assume you have like uh, ID 1 and then here you have a array like this. Maybe in the list I, I have A comma B. Then if you flatten what will happen? It will become like this 1 A as another row, 1 B as another row. So, like that, this array will get flattened, it will get distributed to multiple rows, each item into one row. So, that's what flatten means. Okay. So, the same flatten, if you want to do on RDD object, then you have to use this flat map function. So, let me practically explain you this. So, if you see this example, what I have mentioned here. Here I have created a list of strings. This is first string and this is second string. Now what I am doing, I am creating a RDD object here using spark context class and then I am printing it to see. When I print this, it will print these two items. So this is one item, this is another item. Then I am using a flat map function on top of the RDD object which will help you to write a function to apply any kind of logic on every item. So you can use a lambda function here to write inline function. X will indicate every element in a, in a, in a list uh, that means in a, in a RDD object and it is performing a split function based on the spaces. Wherever you see space then split there and once you split it, it will become arrays and that array will get flattened that we will make sense of it by using a for each loop and printing every item. If all this is confusing at this moment, don't worry. Let me practically explain you this. Let's go to browser. This is my Databricks workspace. And here, let's try to create a new notebook. And let me name this notebook like maybe flat map notebook. Okay. And Python is a default language. This is my cluster. Let me hit clear create button to create a notebook. So once the notebook gets created, it will open and you can start writing your code there. So this is a dialog box which appears sometimes. So close this here and here. Now let's try to write our code. So let's use a data variable here in which I want to store list of values. So I am here is a first string which is like Mahir Basha and then second string Abdul Wafa. Okay. So it has two items from here to here one item which is string type and from here to here another item which is again a string type. Now as I said, Spark session object has Spark context class on which there is a parallelize function that takes list and create a RDD object. So my list, I am passing it here, which is list of strings. This is string and this is string. And I am creating a RDD object out of it. That object, I am storing it in a variable called RDD. And then finally, I want to iterate every object. As I said, RDD is nothing but like a list in Python, right? So we can iterate using for loop. For every item in RDD, we should use a collect function on top of a RDD object 
to iterate or to take every item then simply let's try to print that item so let me hit shift enter to execute this code here once the code executed you can see it printed every item from the rdd object first item is this one second item is this one that means this is string and this is also string we are clearly able to see this so so far it is good now let's try to use this rdd object in our past video we discussed about map function map function also does the same thing you can apply some kind of function on top of the every element of the rdd object so what i am doing it here is map lambda let me uh, let me minimize little bit and here to the map function let me write my code here lambda x in x will indicate every item from the rdd object so first item will be this one second item will be this one that is what i created right you can see x will indicate first item this then second item this it will iterate over every element then x of then try to split that x that means split this string wherever we have a space so separator is space and whenever you use a split function it will actually generate one list back or array back let me practically show you that so this entire code will create another rdd object so let me save that another rdd object into rdd1 now let me do one thing again for every item in rdd1 let's use a collect function here because i want to uh, uh, iterate over them and then here simply let's try to print every item here so let me hit shift enter to execute this code here now if you see what it printed so what it did that is in the first time it will take this entire thing as x and it splitted based on the space then it will split into two parts mahir and basha because space is there and that two parts will be returned as a list here you can see it returned as a list here similarly for second item it, it takes this one abdul wafa again the split happens and the return type will be list or array that will be written here so here i used map function so it returned this list as it is or it returned this array as it is but what if i want to flatten so if i flatten this mahir then in the second uh, object as a basha then third object as a abdul then fourth object as a wafa like that it will flatten the array so if you want to achieve that you have to use a flat map so what i will be doing it here is let this code here itself so let's try to refer the same rdd object again and use the flat map function so same rdd object on top of this i am using a flat map function and let's try to write the same code lambda x of x dot split split based on the spaces and this entire code create a rdd object so let's name it rdd2 and then here for every item in rdd2 let's try to use a collect function and then finally let's try to print so previously print rdd2 previously it printed only two items right this as one list this as another list now it will print four why because it will flatten every array so this is as one item this is as another item this as another item and this one as another item totally four you can imagine like a four rows two rows are getting flattened into four rows that's how you can imagine so let me hit shift enter to execute this code now and now if you see okay oh so print item right i should do so let me print item so let me hit shift enter to re-execute this code now if you see previously it printed like two rows actually two elements or two items we should say but i am saying as a rows so that you can make sense of it and here it is printing as four rows why because it flatten every element from the array so that's how this flat map function will be very helpful to flatten the rdd objects array objects okay so i hope you got it and as i said if the same thing you want to achieve on data frames then you have to use a explode function which we already discussed in the playlist before so all the videos in my PySpark playlist are sequence order so please watch them in the same order so that you will get most out of it thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much